Well everyone, here we are today and uh, second day of the Lindon Winter Festival. It's the second day of three and uh, first day I were on Willis 38 and uh, and I drew uh, 809 pound and finished fourth in my section and um, 112, 119, perhaps should have had a, another point, a point at best maybe two uh, but uh, it's what it is. I haven't been coming, so I'm a bit a bit rusty. But you can probably see if you've been here before. Today I'm on bonsai, and look at that. Now, strangely enough, I've fished bonsai hundreds of times, but I've not fished it since I've redone it. And if you're not aware, it was really shallow. It was silting up, and last winter they dug it all out. So right mess down here, and it's like seven foot in middle now, and and he's re-dredged it and done it and to be fair it looks absolutely awesome the pegs are up and down a little bit but they'll silt up in a, by next year and it'll all be flat and we'll have as sorry flat it middle and we'll have his shelves and everything but to draw a right fancy this today 83 there you go one's i 83 look at that just jumped out there look and uh, i quite fancy it i'm near cafe so i can go have a a pint and a sit down and halfway through is a rest at my age that's what you've got to do now your little siesta you've got tattle shop there look at back of them trees and look at all the caravans at back of all that now towards them big trees it's unbelievable now it'll be interesting because what happens in winter when it gets cold a lot of fish finish up here just here uh, or they used to do but i'm not so sure they will now because they've dredged it and it's deeper like 70 on point up there speed is there 74 fishing a pole, I don't know what he's quite doing with that I didn't think he had one but obviously he has but anyway so I've got some good angles in my section but so has everybody because only 25ers but I'll tell you something they're all good anglers, they all take some licking so this is 83, what am I going to do? right I've set I set mom and a feeder rod up two poles two short poles, I can't fish long pole as, as well as I used to do in, in, in Ireland now it's really they came to the job because it's belting it down. Never listen to a forecast, man. They, they must have the easiest job in the world. They could say it, they could easiest job in the world and say what they want, it don't matter. Last night there wasn't going to be a bit of rain. On my forecast, they want a bit of rain and it's never stopped. And apparently we've got it for a, quite a bit of day. So, Rolly's up, look. There you see, all, all cosy and everything like that. But anyway, so like I said, I've got two short rigs up because there, at two plus one, it's six foot. And so I'm just going to throw pellets there. I think it'd be a pellet job. I spoke to Alex, he's put me right. I've got one down there in about two and a half to three foot of water uh, in case they come a bit shallower. But the interesting thing was, although the banks are all, looks like they've dredged it, which they have, it's really shallow across still. It's like they haven't gone up to it. Island's not quite sure, and I'm going to fish a bomb and a feeder there, and and see what happens. And they reckon there's just millions and millions of tiny fish, and uh, but I've seen some good fish top, so we'll just have to wait and see. So that's my plan to start with. I mean, you know what plans are like, but you've got to have a plan to start with. I actually thought when I drew, I was that peg, and I thought I'd be chucking to that point, um, which. Um, I mean, it looks like the moot aerator as well, which they have, which that point hasn't been touched. So I fancy, you know, I would have fancied that probably even better. So they've not dredged it there. But it's it's what a place this is now. Like it's just fantastic, isn't it? All them lodges there, all the way down. You can't fish that bank in a match night. It's all for lodge people, which is fair enough. And uh, it's just beautiful, isn't it? I mean, it's just awesome. Um, so yes, that's wrong. Wrong. Just gonna fire pellets to that point. Uh, and then chuck a bomb in and we'll start up bomb today not feed her uh, because I've been told that if you chuck micros in um, you'll you'll get these tiny fish and um, so I, I don't really want to wind them in all day so I'm going to start on it but at the end of the day I might have to get some fish in my peg and what I'll do then I'll put uh, I'll put a hybrid feeder on and then just loose feed there and you can see there I've got my got my fours my sixes oh, micros I've got loads today more. There you go. All soaked in, in that sensate liquid and I've got my wafters and my pop-ups. There's only four mils. 
little farm mills that's all you want this time of year unless you're fishing for big fish look another one just just moved there look so there's some fish about so i'll get some bites i think and uh, we'll see what happens um, it's straightforward I'm, I'm, it's a pellet job for me i mean how come we like to fish pellet unless it's in summer look at that another one and where it is there on that point like i said it's it's literally two to three foot which i think will be absolutely perfect which means if they come in that water they'll come in that water so but it might be later on when they come in that so like i said i've got a rig set up for that and uh, we'll see what happens but i must admit i'm quite, I'm quite looking forward i think we'll get some bites i think everybody will because there's that many fish in here but i know a lot of them are little ones and i think it's one of them jobs just keep refishing net as, as uh, bob nadala says little or small just keep putting it net that's all you've got to do and that's what we'll be doing today and hopefully we'll get a share of big ones i think my target weight's like 90 pound so uh, it'd be a lot of fish that 90 pound on here i think at the moment but i'm quite looking forward to it because like i said i haven't fished it before since he's had it dredged and i'm quite looking forward to it but i'll let you know how we get on and have a great day yourself well oh, i'm a bit disappointed with my scent today i've had a not had a great match but i've had a few fish 23 carp and big f1s for about 60 pound uh, and 30 odd little fish for 20 pounds so i've probably got 80 pound i know my target would 90 um but i feel like i've left some out oh and to be honest with you all i've seen is, is ear fish being caught so i don't know where that's going to finish but i don't think it'd be in top three but We'll see what happens when, we, when we're weighing. Have a caught, right. I've fed there with bomb, just there. And I've fed two plus one, just there. And I've fed it edge, but it's only a foot deep. I should have fished it further out. I fished it wrong there. After an hour, I had two little F1s. And I was really struggling. I thought, crack, I couldn't get no liners, no bites. And, and then I've come on with two plus one, and I've missed a couple of bites, and I've had an eight pound carp. And I thought, hey, oh. and I looked round, I saw a couple of carp top. I thought, F1s are not feeding up this end today. Got fish for carp. You can probably just see there. Can you see one just boil on, on point there? Look, there you go. Look. And uh, anyway, I put a I put a bigger hook on a 16 to 0, 16, and I've just up my bait and I've started catching a few carp. Again there, and but I had to go right into mud to catch them. And literally, it must be a foot deep. I couldn't catch them off, off the mud. And I've lost about 15 oaks. It's as snaggy as oat. And uh, and then I've just had two or three little spells where I've caught fish. I come back on my 2-1, couldn't catch one. I went down outside and I got a great big F1 just there. But it's too shallow. I, should, I, I fished it wrong there. I should have fished it. But I've had a nightmare with that duck there that's swimming up there. Honestly, if I could put it in a, in a Chinese, I would. It drove me nuts. I've been firing pellets in, and and it's been sat there all day. And it brought its mates. I had two or three, and I couldn't chuck in because if I didn't get tight to the thing, I couldn't get a bite. So, <laughs> so honestly, it's drove me nuts. So I've had like well, I've had 23 decent, you know, fish over two pound, and I think 30 F1 other fish F1s, um, but. So I've probably got eighty pound. I would think. I don't whether that's enough. I don't know. Some good anglers. So we'll just have to wait and see. So I'll let you know. So all I've done, like I said, I've just fed, loose fed fish to sixteen, and uh, just just tried to catch carp. In the end, I couldn't catch carp. All I was catching were F1s. In the end, I don't know whether I've overfed it or or, or whatever. But I've had a nice day fishing. I'm not grumbling, but I don't think it'll win out today. And uh, but just no F, not not the quantity of F1s at this end and. I, th I think you needed to fish pole across speedy and that led to me right it's caught some fish um on pole long way for me i can't ship that nowadays 16 well it's probably a bit further i don't think i'd have reached there so i've just fished a bomb and a bit oh i'm fed up with tying hooks on <laughs> i've got to stop in tonight and tie some hooks but anyway so i'll let you know what i've got anyway well that's the end of day two and i've had 95 pound 11 uh, which is fourth again, fourth yesterday, fourth today. There were 97 over this sned, so which I'm a bit annoyed about. Uh, re should have had that, I've had my chances to catch that, so I can't grumble. And Speedy there is walking away from his up end there. He's had one, 140, I think 130 odd his second. And I think it was, we've been, I've been there. 
and uh, is it young Sam's won it? He's had £164 fishing shallow. I think he's been on 62, which is my favourite peg. This is my, one of my favourite pegs on Bonsai. All the fish in the winter, they want to be there in between the marlins, but because it's it's actually dredged it and it's deeper and they just fish maggot shallow I do believe, 13 metres and just they're a lovely net of fish, different stamp fish what we've caught and uh, not more I've caught what Nick's caught, I've had good fish and uh, so he's had 164 and there's a 97 over there, Nick's had 130 on 74 just fishing to Ireland and uh, I've had 90, 95, I needed another fish to to beat uh, Sned on 90, so I've been happy with third. Um, because I can't reach, I can't reach. It's too far. Um, perhaps I should have fished shallow. Maybe I should have fished a line shallow. But first time I've been on it, I, I wasn't sure what to do. Uh, I know Dale's won his section, so he's got two wins, and I've got eight points. And I think you'll need nine or ten to get it. So I need to win my section tomorrow to get it top six, I reckon. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. But what I needed to say, I needed it was windy as yesterday with the old poles. That just suited me better today. I think, I think that'd have been better for me. But it won't, so we'll get on with it. And uh, bonsai, uh, sorry, beat it. Crikey. Uh, I'm on, uh, what they call it tomorrow, that other part on, uh, uh, where am I going tomorrow? Benny's, that's it, Benny's. And I think I'm going to have to, well, I've got to go home and tie a load of but no, it's tired. I've used them all today, because that's cost me being snaggy. And uh, it cost me a load of fish that today. Um, again, the, you can see them brooks, can't you? I mean, look at them. You can see them stuck out. And I've had a couple that oh, cracked me off on bite, but for XO16, like cotton, but no, you can do it. It's what it is. And you get some and you don't get some. So, anyway, I'm fourth, so two fourths. And uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. So, have a great night.